Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to set up Sparkle Share. So please check the link in the description and learn how to install the client because that's really important. Um, I already have my share set up for this folder here for this computer, so we're going to do it in a VM. So I'm going to spin that up really quick. So I've got my VM open and I have my Sparkle Share client working. So now what I need to do is I need to click Client ID copy to clipboard. So now this is a VM, so I can't just save a file and put it on a flash drive because I don't have USB hosting set up. So I'm going to need to quickly send an email to myself to get this out of the key, out of the VM, and then we can link the project. All right, so now that I've got the ID from the VM, I need to go back to my host machine, in which case my host is going to be my host computer that's hosting the VM and everything. I need to gain root. And I need to do it twice. So I need to do sudo s and then su, and then I need to do sh dazzle sh link. Now it's going to ask me for a client ID. So this is where the text file that I just generated comes in. So I open it up with this, and then I can copy this key right here, paste it, and then it's going to give my stuff more access. So now if I do the uh, And I created, if I create a, uh, a share that's already there, it'll give me the access information I need. I can then go back to my VM here, go into Sparkle Share. I know this looks a bit weird, you guys. I apologize. Add hosted project. And uh, what you got to do is you got to go to on my own server, and then you can go back to what the the server says. And now the server says SSH, so we do SSH colon slash slash. Then we go to the host, and the host is going to be storage at, and then we do 10 point, and this is just for me. Your IP address will probably be different, but 196, oops, wrong one, 196, 1 point, one three one three one. Okay. Now the remote path is going to be slash home slash storage slash test. Let's make sure that's right. This one is not a capital. Now we click add. It's going to test it. The following host key has been accepted. Click finish, and then we should have access to the Sparkle Share sync. And what that means is, if I go to my home folder on the VM. And uh, I go to Sparkle Share. I see this text file here, and you know, let's say that in the in the future I want to get my text files so that I don't have to deal with transferring things back and forth. I can open up my text editor, and I can type in uh, important data. Click save. I can save it in Sparkle Share. I can type. Uh, let's see, important save it and uh, press F5, it should go straight out. And then I just put this in the test folder. Now this is going to sync, it's uploading, sending changes, and uh, my computer will download it over here. And then everything that has access to the share will, will be able to use it. Now if I go back to my regular computer, my non-VM computer I should say, and I go to the same folder, I see that the files are identical, and I can open this, and I see that the stuff here that I wrote in the VM is also here on my desktop. And that makes things very useful. Sparkle Share is a very useful program, especially if you want to set up syncing and you don't want to deal with the cumbersome setups of uh, sync thing where you have to know a bunch of stuff. This is pretty much just a couple of commands and you're good to go. So if you need a good syncing solution on Linux, please check it out. And also it works on Mac and Windows as well, so you can also get it working on those types of OSs and share files together as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.